everybody. This is George with Ives News Network, and I'm here with <laughs> three lovely ladies, and we're going to talk about some really cool stuff that happened in the SCI and that's happening right now. So, if you wouldn't mind, could you introduce yourself? Let's start right there. Since that's what I'm Betsy Epsteiner, um, and I'm so thrilled to be a part of your meeting today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yay! I'm Kathy LaGuardia, and... <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm an ICE district gay. Yeah, I finally oh, made it. Oh, wonderful. Yes, I'll, I have to be there. But um, thank you all so much for um, coming today. And um, I'm Miami Region Vice Vice WD Leader. Woo! Yes. Yay. So, hi, I'm Henise. Um, from Venezuela. Woo! Woo! Uh, my home district is the Island District in Brickell. And um, my position is YWD Region, Miami Region. Thank you. Yay! So, hi, I'm back. Um, so, we're going to talk about some stuff. First, we're going to talk about the significance of March 16th. Can we do that? Can we do that? Is that cool? Yes. So, the significance of March 16th. Well, can I talk to you personally? Sure. Okay, so, um, March 16th really it means that um, as youth, we took uh, really responsibility for the future of our life our communities, our country, and the world. So, um, so really, it's, uh, for right now, we're right now in the Miami Buddhist Center, and um, so how the youth is gonna take care of the Miami Buddhist Center, right? Yeah. So it's really about like it's our responsibility to make sure that the future is secure. And so, um, mm -hmm. with our lives, rather than, you know, talking about it, yeah, like, yeah, the future is secure. But really about how can I, with my life, make sure that the future is um, secure. Like, the cost and roof is secure for the sake of me, my family, my friends, and my whole community. So, um, yeah. I hope that answers your question. That's perfect. Wow. Very nice. So um, she mentioned something really cool. Uh, she said, how are we going to protect this center and other people and guests and everybody with our lives and not some sort of like theory, abstract idea of, yeah, it's going to happen at some time, some point in time. So it's really about having a sense of accountability, holding ourselves responsible, mm -hmm. and exhibiting the behavior that um, reflects our mentor. That's not great data. Um, so with that, nice little segue to the, the concept of mentor and disciple. So let's talk about that a little bit. Great, thank you. That's a really good question. I had never even heard of that concept before I started practicing the Chinon Buddhism. And, um, you know, from my still learning, you know, and I'm asking myself what it means to me. And what I've really learned to be a disciple is really from Sensei's example, you know, President Ikeda. He was really, and he continues to be, like number one disciple to his mentor, you know, with that mm -hmm. immense appreciation to him. Um, he's always mentioning and actually starting most of his lectures with, you know, Toda's example and his fond memories of him. So I think that teaches me and makes me remember, you know, like really how I can fight alongside him. And that's, I think, revolutionary, you know, in our um, practice. And compared to any other organization or religion around the world, that, um, you know, there's no idea of mentor over here, disciple mm -hmm. here. It's really united, you know, thanks to his example. And, and through this propagation of this Buddhism, it's really brought back that humanism of fighting alongside someone that you really, um, you know, admire. Or there's someone that's mm -hmm. maybe really great and extraordinary. But, you know, as President Kela is a human being, he really, um, he wants us, he encourages us every single day, you know, we get his messages. Because he wants us to like be the greatest person we can be, so like so we can fight alongside him, you know. Just as Hennessy was explaining about March 16th, mm -hmm. so we as youth or any age can really like fight alongside him. So I think that's what mentor disciple um, brings out of me, mm -hmm. and um, really pushes me to do my best. So I don't have to depend on anyone, but really take responsibility. Okay. Okay. The soap, the soap that cleans from inside out. Let's talk about propagation and, and how the youth are responsible for the future of the SCI. Oh, thank you. Propagation is my absolute favorite thing to discuss, so thank you for inviting me to talk about it. 
Um, I had the privilege of meeting Sensei in 1979, and that was one of the most difficult periods in his life because he had to step down as president of the Soka Gakkai. And he could not attend meetings nor uh, do anything other than home visitation. But it turns out I was in Japan at a garden party, and Sensei came to that party. And I was standing there with two of my friends, and he came directly over to us and said this one sentence that absolutely changed my life. He said, do you think within one year you can introduce one person to the practice? And I thought for about 30 seconds, and I thought, yes, you know, yes, Sensei, I will do that. Well, honestly speaking, that was the turning point in my life because that became my vow, not just in 1979, but from that point on to be able to introduce one person in a year to the practice. So last year, of course, I was overjoyed that the national youth leaders determined that 3,000 youth would join the practice last year in 2013. And I pledged, I vowed in front of the Gohansen that I would introduce one youth to join that um, 3, 3K group. So on November 12th, my dear friend who I met at Florida Gulf Coast University, a beautiful YWD, received her Gohansen and joined the practice. And I feel such gratitude toward President Ikeda for bringing home to me at that moment in time what is the point of our practice? What does it mean to practice Nichiren and Daishonin's Buddhism? It's to share this practice with others. As my dear friend said, it's to guarantee the future. It's to create a world at peace. So how do we intend to do this? By changing the world, changing ourselves first, and sharing this practice with others. So the hands are in the youth and the hands of the world are with the youth, and therefore, we have nothing to worry about. Everything is going to be peaceful and secure. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you. Thank you.